Humble Independent School News Broadcast. We are Lead Anchors, Cameron Builder. And I'm Zach Mills. We are so excited to bring you the amazing things happening around our school, as well as the exciting things for the weeks to come. Week one of testing went great, and our elementary and middle school students work very hard. Our high school students start testing this week. Remember, to eat a good breakfast every morning, get a good night's rest, as well as be on time and do your best on the test. And always remember, your thinking caps, like me and Cameron, <laughs> have had ours on all week. Sure. We celebrated Mental Health Awareness Day last week with our new Stop B grant. Check out the story. So May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and we decided that that's something that we care about with our students and with our staff. So today we had um, we had some swag to give away. We had pens and we had lanyards and uh, stickers, and then the PE classes got to take part in chair yoga, and then we all get to have a refreshing drink if you're in grades six through twelve. All of our health is important and there's really three sides. So there's physical health and we all are very aware of what physical health is, but there's also social and emotional health. And then uh, with that goes mental health. And that's where if you don't have good mental health and you, it's not like physical health, you can't look at someone and say, oh, they've got a cold. And you can't look at someone and say, oh, they, they have anxiety. So, but if you don't take care of your mental health, it's gonna affect your physical health. I think mental health is important for students because uh, having good mental health allows you to wake up in the, uh, every day and be ready and be happy and be like, let's see what we got. It's important because if your mental health is bad, then that could also make your physical health bad and you could just all around feel not good. And that could also go into school stuff and being really stressed out all the time. So you always want to kind of keep a positive point of view. Mental health is important to me because it's like the emotional well-being of everybody and just making sure everyone's okay. Mental health is important because people who have low mental health aren't able to focus on schoolwork and their future and they're not able to communicate with people and they usually don't really like go out and they're just not happy. I think that mental health is important because like it's just as it's just as important as physical health, you know? Cuz you don't want to be sad. Mental health is important because a lot of people are going through more than anyone can think and if you help them that helps them get through the day a lot more than normally. Calming down whenever I have a chance to and not get worked up about a lot of things. Like listening to music and stuff because that really relaxes me. I work out, I play sports, listen to music, clean, just stuff like that. Just hang out with my friends and just like play sports, work out, just stuff like that. Listen to music as well. I like listening to music, it's nice. Yeah, I like to talk to people and get outside and I really like to run and play volleyball and it just helps me all around. Well, we actually have a couple of programs that we're going to start. Uh, we have Youth Mental Health First Aid. And then for the students, we have Green Dot. So we're gonna start that. So the mental health color is green. And then Green Dot is a mental health program that we're gonna start in our school. So we're real excited about starting that soon. Our Beta Club did their spring service project last Thursday in the first project with their new inductees. They cleaned up around town and planted flowers for the Kentucky Mount Laurel Festival. Well, me and Cameron had to have a little talk with our weathermen this week. Seems to be they've been acting up with some of our crew. Let's just see what's going on down in the deep dark dungeons. What is going on? Don't be that mean to me. Y'all need to get your crap together. You're a disgrace to this news. This has gone too far. It is. What do you have to say for yourself there, Mr. Cannoli? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. I think we're doing just fine. Should we let him talk? I I don't know. Do you want to yeah, talk? he's the bad one. 
But you need to put that back on there. Yeah, get this stupid little tape off, you little punk, you. And get that light out of here. What in the world you got these stupid handcuffs on? This is... This She's going to blind us with that. Bro, bro, you sit here no talking. No you How do you tell the clumsiest man? You people, all this management, like, I do not understand. You got to send cameras, bro. This makes zero sense. We've seen that you guys have been doing it. Yeah, exactly. You haven't been doing the news correctly. A disgrace is what it is. A disgrace. You oh, should come be ashamed on. of yourself. Oh, come I do on. not care, jabroni. You do you not understand? It's you jabronis need to know your rule and shut your mouth. Oh, you go out here with your big fancy cameras and blab your mouth. Like, what's the point? Who cares if about the weather? Like, no one really cares. Y'all just do your job. You set up by being an anchor. Who really cares? At least I have fun doing my job. Do you have fun doing your job? You yeah, do you? Do you have fun doing your job? We, we might have to yeah. a good reason why you get paid. We're going to have to find right some now, new there ain't no reason weather. to start signing the check. Yeah, this has gone too far. I don't really care. I, I honestly do not care at this point. You're yeah. handcuffed for a reason. I, yeah. I do not really yeah. care. Y'all jabronis, y'all have done us wrong. I don't think you can do this anymore. And you're fired and I want you gone. Well, jabronis, we don't really care. Well, Let's get on. out of here. We got to solve this. Too far. You were way too nice. I didn't want to be mean. Our softball team has been on a row and are working hard getting ready for districts. Let's check in with our awesome sports reporter, Nadine Johnson, for the story. Hi, I'm Nadine Johnson coming at you from the Lion's Den, here to interview Rachel and Addison. Okay, so Rachel, tell me a little bit about this growth from this season compared to last season. Um, we're better than last season. We hit the ball more in field and pitch better. It's a lot of pressure to go up there to that mound, so how do you kind of stay calm and collected? I know we have a good defense behind me, so, yeah. So, you guys had a really impressive run in the All-A tournament. Tell me a little bit about that. It was it kind of surprised me because we normally get really nervous mm -hmm. and so I thought you know but middles well we have never beat them mm -hmm. since KHSA was a thing oh, wow. so this is really it kind of made my year yeah what are your expectations going into this district play this year to win I mean okay. we've beat everybody so thank you all for the interview and I wish you guys the best of luck next week in district for our next segment, we have a very special guest anchor, Miss Jessica Teague. Thank you. So, what's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is cats. Why do you like cats? Because they're soft and furry. Do you have a cat? Yeah. What's its name? Its name is Maddie. Aw. So, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an artist, like Bob Ross. Oh, okay. I like Bob Ross. Yeah. So, do you like to paint or draw or what do you like to do? I like to do all kinds of stuff, like paint and draw and stuff. So is there anything you want to tell school news? Yeah. It's so wonderful to have you guys today. So is there anybody in your class or a teacher you want to give a shout out to or any of your family? Yeah. I want to say hi to Kathy. All right. Well, I'm glad to have you here. Thank you. Jessica isn't the only student who loves animals. Palmo Independent is unique in that it offers vet classes for students that want to pursue a career in veterinary medicine. Dr. Ann Gaines allows her students to get hands-on experience even taking her advanced vet classes to the Bell County Animal Shelter. Buddy, take a chill pill. Number one, it's a great program to get the vet assistant program started at Pineville for any student that's interested. And the other thing is what a blessing it is that we can work hand in hand with the Bell County Animal Shelter uh, with at its, as its leader. I think we can all say Patsy, who has a wonderful crew. This is a, uh, I mean, you talk about treasures to have on board. This is a treasure. I'm going to go ahead and I'll go to the right side. We always do bring the right side and then we go. I 
as someone who is planning to become a veterinarian in the future and going to school for that soon, having this firsthand experience being in a shelter uh, one on one with animals has been great for me personally. It's been wonderful. It's a blessing. Uh, she's a lot of help. Uh, you know, she answers all my questions when an animal's sick or needing veterinary care. She she just examines it and tells us what we need, and I, it's a blessing to have them. I love this woman. She's a great, a great vet, a great person, and she's always been loyal to this shelter, always, for years. You couldn't ask for a better person. I'll pay you later. <laughs> Let's find out what's for lunch with cooking with B. Bargo. Welcome back to What's Cooking with B. Bargo, part two. Monday, we got Papa John's. Tuesday, we got hot dogs and chili. Wednesday, we got chicken strips. Thursday, we got pescetti and garlic bread. And Friday, we got hot ham and cheese. And your favorite choice of milk with all of them for the week. And that's what's cooking with Bibargo for the week. We have several announcements for this week. Step up day for the 5th and 8th grade students will be this Wednesday, May the 10th. Both grades will be able to learn about the classes and teachers they will take this fall. Prom is this Saturday, May the 13th at the Old Church in Cumberland Gap. Tickets are officially sold out! We have a new date for field day this Friday, May the 12th. Beta Club will be helping with the field day activities. The 11th and 12th grade will also have a special Fatal Vision Awareness program this Friday. The annual staff versus senior basketball game is Thursday, May the 13th. Good luck to your staff. You're going to need it. We're going to have some ice packs on standby and the EMS on speed dial. Reminder that there is no school next Tuesday, May 16th, in honor of Election Day. The last day of school is Thursday, May 18th for students and Friday for teachers. I feel bad they have to come in. That's so sad. We hope you enjoyed this edition of the Mountain Lions News. Check us out on YouTube for extended interviews, highlights, and more. As always, if you're interested in joining the Mountain Lion News broadcast, talk to Mr. and Mrs. North. We'll see you next week. I feel like I